Yeah, I'm walking down this hill again. You can see the road's all wet. It's been raining again. There's puddles. Look at all the puddles of water down there. But I'm going to be digging on the side of a hill for marbles and toys, so it won't be as wet down there because I'll be on an angle. I'll get back when I find something, if I do. All right, I'm back down here in the woods. Right in here is where I started getting on to all them Marble King marbles in my last video. There was, I was raking them out live. Um, I found a couple of vitros too. It's been raining. You can see some of this stuff. You can actually see all the stuff now. Some plastic 50s and 60s beers. There's a sun crest that's nice enough to probably take if it ain't broke. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Just There's just so much of this stuff I can't take it all. But right in here I was finding Marble Kings and a few vitros. And up there I was finding World War II era vitros. So I think, I don't know, I'll dig both places today for a little while. Look, there's a bubble pipe. It's got melt damage to the end. Later. Even though it's been raining, I'm on a slant like this and there's clay cap and it sucks up any moisture. So this is just prime. And if this doesn't, if it just doesn't get cold for a few days in a row, which it's only going to be like the weekend, I might even be able to come up here and dig a little bit when it's 10 degrees. Look at this. This looks excellent. Look, these yellow beads. I think every one of them is uranium glass marble. There's another one. I found so many of them. You know, there's... There's a button, but look, here's just another bigger one. There's a whole necklace of them. And I've found 50 of them, and every time, I think it's a real good marble. Hopefully I can get one like that. But... Well, I'm right back on the same kind of stuff. That's an odd bottle. It's nothing. A beer from 1963. There's a melted figure. It's ruined, but look here. Another one of them blue marble kings, I think. And it come right out of that layer there. The layer down there that's, look at that burn up layer. I didn't see much in that. But it doesn't mean there's not a layer below, which there kind of almost has to be. But see, that's solid. It's real nice condition. Well, look at this little plastic magnifying glass. It's all there. Plus, it's marked there on the handle. So I'll try to see what that says. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm going to take that. That'll still work. Later. It's crazy this stuff is this preserved. Look at this plastic bag. No dry out package. Soft brown sugar. It's something. Food Packing Incorporated. I think it's Comb Ohio. C O M B. Economy size 45 cents for a whole thing of brown sugar. Look at that. And there's recipes. Grandmother's brown sugar cookies you can pause that what the heck popcorn crisp was waffle and pancake syrup butterscotch cookies foam frosting or candy butterscotch sauce look at that all make with this later well this has nash this has nashville tennessee and look at this double cola. That would have been awesome. Red and white graphics, but it's all messed up. That one's blitzed. Yeah, I actually got a cool bottle I've never found. And I raked that out and I thought, man, that's odd. Look at that little tin cap on that bottle. I would have took it anyway. Look at it, it's a little older, you know, maybe 30s on that, 20s. Now look at this. It says stuff. What the heck is this? It says New York at the bottom. I, I've never seen this bottle. This is a good find. Paul Westfall. Huh. P-A-U-S-W-E-S-T-P-H-A-L. New York. Huh, I have never seen this. Have you? That's really nice. Huh. Well, this bottle's super. Look how clean I got that cap with a wire brush. 
that's the cap stays small and the bottle's so cool. I'd say this is 20s. Paul Westfall, New York. That's pretty cool. That's a nice looking bottle. It's real nice looking, huh? It's got a real, it's got kind of a hair tonic type opening in the top of that. It might be a hair tonic. I don't know, but it's nice. Man, folks, later. I'll drink to stick it out over here, I think. Yeah, that might have melt, but just to be able to show it, I, that looks like oh, a big, a big vitro agate. It's melted. Oh, man. It's, that's disgusting. Oh, there's some nice. This is probably some kind of, oh, look how melted it is. It's a World War II era vitro agate made in Parkersburg. It's ruined. But man, that's something. It's got black and, it's like tiger color, black and orange on a complete, oh, that would have been a nice one. I'll try to go for some more. Well, it's a real shame on this. Look at this. I didn't clean it up all the way. That's all rusting. You see how it's out around? That's from a fire in the dump. It's just melted it. It's got a crack in it, but that's another 1940s, right around World War II, it was made vitro agate. That's would have been awesome. I wanted to show you. That's too bad. Later. Oh, man. Well, I, I wish I'd have filmed this. You can see where that was sticking right in that hole right there. I pulled it out. Thought, man, that's a pretty nice bottle. Now look in it. There's a marble in this bottle. And I found this, on this dump, see, it ain't gonna stink. It's a really beautiful two color cat eye. Look at it. That's a day maker. And if you're a regular subscriber, I don't know. It's been at least a year and a half ago around this turn, probably two. I found t at least two bottles that had, one of them had like nine vitro agates. And this looks like a vitro cat eye. I'll have to break the bottle. It's messed up and it's only one marble. But that's, I, in my last video, I found that broken RC. It would have been right there. So I'm on another throwaway of marbles and they're all in bottles. Later. Well, that's one of the nicest marbles in a while that's a cat eye. It's a later vetro from the 1960s. It's like kind of like a cage cat eye, but that's just sick. Look at that color. Condition's awesome. That's a good one. All right. Look at that rusty layer. Look at the Marble King Bumblebee. All right. This is a nice one. If it don't have dings, it looks like it's nice. Oh, it is. Look at the purple and black. This is a classic marble. Oh, that's beautiful. The blending is outstanding. Made by Marble King in West Virginia. And this is a St. Mary's West Virginia factory out of the same. And it burnt down. Yeah, that's a really nice looking bumblebee. See the purples in there and the black. This is a classic Marble King marble. One of their most famous and most like identifiable. Um, there you go. Later. That's incredible. Man, look at this. That looks pretty awesome. That looks like a wolf or something. What the heck? Well, I really like this. It's a shame the nose is off of it. I'd say that's Lathy and I'd say it's Mark's. Mark's Toys. It says made in the USA on the bottom. I'd say that's Mark's. They made a lot of Ren 1010 and Lassie play sets, and Ren 1010 was a German Shepherd, so that's not what this is. So that's probably Lassie. Later, fix. You know, I don't even believe this. You seeing this? Yeah. Look at this toy gun. What? One grip's missing, but it might be right here. Let's just see, Fanner 50 maybe? Oh, it's locked up, but man, that'll be cool for a Riker frame, won't it? Look at that. Well, this gun's made by Mattel. Mattel Toys. 
the Fanner 50. Up next, I'll put up some pictures of what it looked like new in the box and some of the accessories. This is awesome. It's the size of a real pistol. And, you know, I could get this freed up. That's a pretty cool looking toy, huh? Later. gun was suspended in this rust layer and that's why it looks like that. See the caps? The, the bottles? They're pretty nice. That's why the gun looks like that. See if there's anything else in here. I'm getting real tired. This has been hard digging in here today. I'll try to find one, maybe one more thing in here. Let's kick this back over the hill. This place is just loaded. Look at this. That's perfect. And that's rubber plastic. That's a cow from a Mark's playset from about 1952. Look at that, a grazing, like, cow. Um, that's nice, man. Well, how cool is this grazing cow? It's like a milk cow, looks like. That's pretty awesome. The tail's there. I'd say that's Mark's too. It's real rubber plastic. Probably 1950s Mark's toys. That's awesome. Later. Dug this out of there. That's a big 12 ounce embossed patent office coke. And you didn't see, that's one from the 60s. That's a, like the last one they made like that, but that's pretty nice. Um, I just found out, but I gotta get out of here. I did good again. It's a shame that bottle wasn't filled with like 100 marbles. Sooner or later, I'll find a whole jar of 100. I, I think this would be the place for it. Look at all this digging I've done. But I'm coming up with good stuff. I don't know what I like the best from today. I kind of like this bottle. That's very unique. Um, the gun's awesome, and the marbles are nice. And some of them figures are nice. And I've been here two hours, fix. That many finds in two hours. Merry Christmas. Thanks to all you people that give super thanks to. That's why I'm out today. And we got that stuff for the cat in the last one. We're doing good things. Later. Well, little boy is right here by my back door. Look here, I bet he's in here. I just put food in there. Yep, are you having a dinner, buddy? He just got warm water. It's like zero out of here. And he was inside a little bit, but he, he just wants to be out of here and chase birds. He's got him a new spot. I got him a blind there. He's doing all right. Merry Christmas, everybody. The cat's okay. Well, that was Reggie in the box outside. And here's the last cat that I found and I'm taking care of. So Todd, this is Todd. He's doing good, huh, Todd? Todd's up on the heater vents. He lays on them because it's nice and warm. Tell him, buddy, you're doing good. Todd likes it down here, that's for sure. Look at him, Todd. He's a good boy. It's like 2.30 in the morning, I woke up, I'm working on videos. Look at that good boy. All right, Merry Christmas, folks.